Hi guys, welcome back to this week's podcast, which is now episode two of our Detailers podcast. So, uh, I've asked for comments, and no one has responded with comments yeah, on what so. to do next. So we're going to use our discretion. Mm-hmm. So, as we're busy in the de- in the radical shop as well now, we're busy with assembly. So we started with windows, and uh, Matepo came up with an idea to say. You know, let's let's actually do a demonstration now on windows, right? Because there is window polishers yes. around, but in this one here, we're not going to do it on the vehicle, right? Mm-hmm. So we're actually going to do it placed down onto our makeshift bench at this point in time. And I think, but it doesn't mean that we've got it on the bench. That it has to, your window has to be taken out and put on the bench. No, obviously, it doesn't have to. obviously the the viewers can mask out where they need to mask out. Mm. Right, and it's actually better for you to work with it on the car. On the car, yes. And this is especially now if you are using the uh, machine, the buffing machine. Yes. Right. So again, the same process. We're going to go through the chemicals that we're going to use. Uh, we're going to go through a procedure that we're going to use it on. Mm. Right. And we've actually taken a window that's actually very dirty. So what we're going to do differently is here. Also remember guys, you're going to first wash your car, right? So your car will get washed, your windows will get washed, and then you'll do your polish afterwards. Mm. In this sense here, we're not washing the car first. So we're going to use our general uh, general wash to get the dust layer off. Yes. And then we're going to go through with the cleaning process cleaning of process, it, right? Yes. Okay, so Matseps, what are we going to use? Can you just go through with what all are we going to use on this window today? And what the processes are going to be like? Okay, because I've realized that the window that you're going to be working on, it's very dirty. Okay. So I've decided to clean it first with our purpose cleaner, which is our multi-star. Okay. Yes. And then after cleaning it first, we're going to polish. Okay. And then after that, and then we're going to clean it, uh, wipe it off with our clear glass. Okay. Yes, to remove the excess of the So when you say polish. polish, when you say polish, how are we applying the polish on there? Are we doing a buff? So as we'll be using the small machine, I'm yeah. waiting to to press it hard because it's not on the on the car. We are awaiting the breakage or destroying of okay, the. So because the, we're basically using the stand, yes. right? We don't want to put pressure yes. pressing down. Whereas pressing down, if yes. you're working on a car, you're pressing horizontally. Pressing, yes. Okay, understood. Yes. So, but the general the viewers can use, and please, guys, we will do we'll do another episode on the buffing machines. Mm. The polishing machines or the polishing. buffing machines, right? That we should be using because uh, only until lately, I until I really started looking into it, I realized that there's actually different polishing machines. Yes, there is. So you get your normal rotary polishers, you get your cheaper ones that you buy, but I felt a difference. Yes, there is a difference in how machines. harsh they actually are yes. as to the more pricier machines. But the machines is actually meant for paint. For paint, yes. So it's much more. It's much more gentler and much more controllable yes. to use those right to use those, yes. so we'll do another episode solely on that on the machines yes. okay so with regards to um, your chemicals that you're going to use i see again you got three bottles there now yes. so one is our general purpose cleaner yes. right which is basically we can supply that either in a full bottle form or we can have it diluted for you and we can sell that separately right yes at the moment we have it in one liters okay. undiluted and we have also on 10 liters okay yes and then there's another green bottle there what is that that's my clear glass can i see so this is a clear glass yes so the clear glass basically this will be sprayed on yes and then wipe off polishing and wipe it off yes. okay so you'll go through that process again now, now. and then there's another bottle there yes. This is my glass polish, the one yes. I'm going to use to polish the, 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 the window with. So this is a compound? Yes, it's a compound. Alright, so this will be placed onto the bed basically, yes. polish it polish out. It out yes. Then also now, you know, you know, if we get the tricky questions, right? The tricky questions is to how much can it take out? At the moment, we are dealing with a very dirty uh, glass. So, so, this, so this is more for dirt and stains, right? Yes. And fine scratches. Fine scratches, yes. But Not obviously, deep scratches. obviously, guys, a deep scratch is a deep scratch. It's a deep scratch. There's nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to try and remove your grime, your dirt, your grime, 
and your fine scratches from it and it also gives away you know, a nice polish right yes. and i do believe that this also gives a glaze it glazes, over it. Yes. so the water doesn't actually stick to the window if it no. it actually gives a nice run down run down yes. on the wall okay. so just remember that there's a fine line between polishing out and taking out scratches it's taking out scratches yes polishing is polishing that's getting like i said fine scratches through dirt through crime through stains out but if it comes to thick scratches thick scratches are in there, is what in it there is. and then it's already damaged there's nothing we can do about that no understood yes okay so much else. let's go through quickly and let's start this demonstration all right no problem and let's see how we can get this window cleaned all right okay i'm gonna clean it first with our purpose cleaner here yeah because normally before polishing obviously you would have washed your car so as this is not on our car we're just gonna clean it first with our purpose cleaner which is our multi-star okay to remove all the dead and the grime that is on here uh -huh. yes you know i think in the late in one of the later while you're washing it quickly in one of the later videos we should actually do an episode on the uh, our engine cleaners i call it our engine cleaners but it's actually our degreases yeah that's so because i think the viewers will actually enjoy that i know i've been enjoying it on the plating side as to how much you use and to what it can actually do and how, what it actually pulls off but that's for another episode hey -oh. Okay, so we still left out a lot of this here. Yes. And this is on the, on the side here. Right? On the side. So these are the stains that we're actually talking about here. And then a lot of the times you'll find on top of your windows, even though when you go to a car wash and they will wash it off, but you actually left the stain from the rubber on the borders. And that's also what we're going to try and work out, right? And I don't know if you can see it. We have some scratches over here, the side. I don't know if you can yeah. catch it on your camera there. I don't know if they are visible to you there. Okay, so... So that's what we want to try to to polish out. But if there are deep scratches, then probably there's nothing we can do. Okay, some are kind of deep scratches. You can fill them with your nail when you do like this. Mm -hmm. Let's yes. see if we can maybe lift this glass up. I don't know if it's visible through the glass. I mean through there. So this is actually... A, is this a stain or is this... What is this here? <sighs> So that's actually like a stain, right? Yes. Okay, so this will be nice because this is, okay, there's deep scratches in the window. In the window, There's yes. more here, this idea, right? Mm -hmm. That's something I don't think we're going to be able to take out. To take out, yes. But these stains here, we'll be able to we'll pull out. We'll be able out. to pull out. Okay, so we're going to do a polish on this side on and this side, side here, right? Yes, both sides. Both sides, yes. on the one half of the uh, glass. One so you'll actually be able to see before and after. Before and after. Okay, yes. great stuff. Okay, so you use your do you, you use the glass compound before the before the the clear glass before the clear glass okay okay let me get my battery okay so just while while my was getting a battery quickly this is the baby polisher that we were talking about right and if you have a look at the stand here there's actually a few polishers so we pref okay we prefer to use the battery operated ones and the non-electrical ones and then for this guy there's also a mini attachment as well what's up where's your mini attachment okay no, i'll get it i'll get it where's it in the cupboard there's my box over there okay so you actually get the mini attachment and i actually like using this i've done it in one of the videos So it's basically, oops, it's basically attachment from here or from whichever way, from here out to the machine and then to the mini polishers. Yes. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the end, the end piece, right? So this is to the machine. To the machine. And this, this here is to, so these guys are nice. So when you're working on cars, on, when you're working on hard to get items where you can't strip out, never mind these polishing pads here. 
but these guys work quite well to get into and then you actually get a triangular one where you can get in like for example between the bumpers between and the, the car bumpers, yes. and you don't end up burning beatings and you don't end up forcing your forcing way or not way even being able way. to get in there so we'll do that video at a later stage on what um what uh, what to use and also what's available in the market and what's affordable to you for you okay so much you will you just take the viewers through on how you apply your polish okay. onto the pad and why you apply it on the pad like that and then if there's a certain motion that you work with right for that okay. um i apply my polish on the pad i don't put too much just four small dots okay and then i'm gonna put it on the on the glass because now i'm polishing glass and i'm gonna just rub it out and then to even to even it on the surface okay and then i'm gonna start polishing okay yes And then speed wise i see that you drop the speed on yes because now i'm i'm just applying it first before i start polishing okay. because if oh. it's on hard speed then it's gonna speed out okay yes then when i'm gonna start polishing that's when i'm gonna increase my speed okay so you're just basically a lower speed just yes. to apply it onto my the glass finish, first yes. or massage it in and then then i'm gonna lift it up Is that stain actually coming out? Yes, you can check here. You see why I have polished yeah, and check. Yes, you can see. Check here why I have polished and where I haven't polished. You can see. So it is actually coming out. Yes. So when I polish, I don't go in one motion. No? Okay. I go side by side. Yeah. And then, and then I'll go up and down. So I notice I've seen on videos where the guys go left and right and then they go up and down yes. across it. Is there a reason for that? Yes, because of um, you are not sure how the stretch was made. So you are trying to work on both angles okay. to try to remove this, the stretch out of, of ah, the angle. Ah, okay, 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 yes. okay, I understand it. I don't know if you can also I see here. Yeah. 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 So I can actually can see, see how it pulled the stain out here. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're going to do the glass from here, basically. We're going to do this side. side of the glass, right? Yes. And we're going to leave that side of I'm the glass. I'm actually going to get a piece of basket there while you're busy there. All right. Just and so we can show the viewers a before and after.
see. I don't know if you can see those stains here on the corners. Can you see? Yeah. So I'm gonna flip it over so we can polish we can polish this other side. Yeah. Now we're almost done with the polishing. Um, I'm gonna wipe it off now. Okay. I think these things are out. Let's check. Yeah, we're still left with those um, few scratches, but then they are too deep. We might end up breaking the glass if we try to polish harder than this. But then the stains they are gone so what we're gonna do now is um we're gonna go to to our clear glass né? we're gonna use our clear glass clear glass to to remove the excess oil so the the glass can be much cleaner and clearer than this this here Okay. 
so even the clear glass i don't i don't spray it straight on the glass ne? i also spray it on the on the cloth and then i'm gonna wipe it out again with a dry cloth And then I will flip it over. There is our glass. There. Looks clean to me. Okay, so my tapo, this here actually looks wow. It is. So it pulled out a lot of these stains, right? And yes, so it's only the deep scratches that basically remain behind that we cannot do anything about. Nothing. Right? But if you look at the before and after, you look at these stains here on top here, compared to here. And this here is quick. It actually yes. went very fast. So, sure. So I don't know on camera if you're able to catch basically the angles out completely mm. um wow okay so let's just we can conclude this and much mm. do you want to conclude it quickly yeah basically um because our glasses you can see on the other side how it was mm. so i i had to clean it first with our all purpose cleaner which is which is our multi star and then i polished it out with our Glass polish. Mm -hmm. So we just basically went with all-purpose with a sponge. With a sponge yes. and then we gave it a dry wipe down. Yes. Right. Then we went with our glass polish. Yeah. Yes. To remove all the dead in the grime that was there. So because of after polishing, you still have like um, access oils and everything. So we had to clear it out with our clear glass. Okay. Cool. Yes. To bring it to the way it is now. So, after polishing. Wow. Something so simple, so easy, and I think this is so effective in having a vehicle, having on your own vehicle, basically, just able to maintain the glass on it and obviously not let the stains build up over time. So, guys, this is also... Okay, before we before we conclude it, right, now, not everybody has a polisher. So, what's the other alternate to that? uh we have something we call a pea ball that they can basically use if they don't have a polisher okay which is something that we do have in stock also here at home okay yeah, let me get it for you okay what is that called again pea ball pea ball yes we call it our pea ball okay so i want to say i want to try and look for an alternate for those that don't have any polishers you don't basically. have a, if you don't have a polisher you can use this oh okay so you see, this is the same pad that was on my machine. Okay. I'm removing it from the machine. You can plug it on your people. Okay. This is our people. So then that's basically an polisher. It. Yes. Then you put a polish and then you just hold it like this and then you can polish with your hand. So you can follow the, the same method of left, right, up, down. Yes. For the people. On, yes. The only difference is it's a manual polish. It's a manual polish. Okay. So yes. we've got it available as well? Yes. We have it in store as well. And we've got the pads with it? We have the polishing pads. pads. Yes. Okay, so great stuff. So guys, if this is this is actually something nice to have, right? And it's just 
with the polishing pad. So that is available for those that don't have any machines any at all. Any machines, yes. Okay, um, so. What we'll do is, I think we'll actually speak to the marketing team and let's try and put together a small package for the viewers at home that will be available to purchase. So a glass cleaning package okay. with the PBO if need be. If needed be, yes. Guys, again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, I'm going to push you guys on comments, especially on the podcast center. Uh, I think this was a good episode for episode for the second one round. So this is episode two. Let me know what you guys think for the next one, what you guys want to see us do uh, that helps us in getting our content correct as well. And also, let me know what you guys think about this product being used today. So much, Eps. Thank you for today again. Thank you so much, Anj. And you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, and share. And yeah, let's grow this. Cheers, guys.